Hello everyone and welcome to the 100 Wonders of the World. Today we'll be talking about Mount Everest. It's in Nepal and the continent is part of Asia. Mount Everest soars some 29,028 feet into the sky along the border between Tibet and Nepal. Many legends and traditions are associated with the highest mountain on earth which has seen both triumph and tragedy. The holy mountain is named after the British engineer George Everest, who was commissioned by the British Crown in the mid-19th century to conduct the survey of India and the uh, Himalayas. It, it, was, it was he who identified the mountain the locals called Chomulungama as the highest in the world. The summit was not reached before May 29, 1953, when the New Zealander Edmund Hillary made it to the top with his friend, Sherpa Tenzing Norgay. The summit continues to fascinate drawing experience and amateur climbers alike from all over the world. Every year, thousands of them expend their best effort in attempts to submit the mother of the universe. Long ago, before it received its English name, the mountain had played a central role in the teachings of the Buddhist religion. Five fairy tale like goddesses, the five sisters of long life, are worshipped in the Himalayas. They are said to live at the top of the highest mountains. Chomulanga, which means mother of the universe, in the Tibetan and Sherpa languages is the home of the goddesses uh, Chomo Mio Langsama and Tashi Serigma. As long as they are properly honored, they will keep the evil spirits off the mountain at bay. For this reason, every Everest expedition begins with this sacrificial ceremony called the Puja. Only those who offer their sacrifices humbly will conquer the mountain and return safely. Many religions, symbols, and offering sites line the path to the base cap at 70,000 feet above sea level, including many stones, a stupa covered with prayer flag, and a cemetery with 200 or so stone men set up as piles of rocks in memory of the dead. As Edmund, Hillary, and Tenzing Norgate stood on the top of the world in 1953, they had no idea of the avalanche of publicity that would follow in the wake of their achievement. Everest was the last challenge on Earth. It con its conquest had been called the Third Pole, and now it too had been mastered. News of the first summit spread like wildfire around the world. Mountaineers and climbers of all na nationalities began organizing exp exhibitions, although for many years the unstable po political situation in the region would make receiving a permit to climb. Everest depended on complex diplomatic negotiations at the highest levels of government, the run on the mountain had officially begun. Only seven years later, a Chinese exhibition reached the summit from the northern, Tibetan side of the mountain. The first American team made it on the top in 1963, and in 1975, a British exhibition pioneered 